Hello everybody. So it is lunchtime for me and I decided I was going to make a chaffle today. And if you don't know what that is, that means it is a like cheesy, eggy waffle. But as you know, um, when you're trying to live a lifestyle the way that we are, we need to up our uh, protein. So yes, an egg has protein in it. That's great. But I am actually going to add some unflavored protein powder and I'm just going to show you guys how to make a chaffle today that actually you can um, modify this. And I took a photograph of some of the ingredients and you will see how amazing it is and how easy it is. So let me go ahead and turn our camera down um, and I will show you exactly what it is that we're going to be doing. So here we are. Now, if you have not seen one of these before, this is a Dash waffle maker, okay? It's little tiny, it's perfect. Um, they are, because of the size, they heat very, very evenly. So this one's plugged in and, and hot and ready to go. I have our bowl. So we're just gonna take one egg, okay? So this is just a medium egg. Go ahead and drop that in here. I'm gonna go ahead and whip that up. All right, so we have our egg and it's all been whipped up. Now we are going to actually take a little bit of our isopure. So I know a lot of you uh, use isopure. Some of you have been using Genepro, um, whatever it is. I just like that it's unflavored and that I can add it to my chaffle and have a chaffle that has lots of, of protein in it. Okay, so we're gonna do a half a scoop. Dump that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and whip that up again. So this is gonna become kind of like a batter. Now, a lot of people have taken bananas and eggs and protein powder and, and done this before. Totally acceptable, delicious. We'll whip that up really good so you don't have your chunks in it. If you have one of those little whisks, you can certainly do that as well. And then also, this is something that I've learned. We're gonna add some cheese to it. We're gonna do like a Parmesan cheese, but we're also gonna do a little bit of mayonnaise. Now, I like light mayonnaise, okay? As you can see, it's like running out, but that's all right. So just squeeze that in there a little bit, probably about, about like that, which is about a tablespoon, okay? I'm gonna whip that in there. Now, I know it sounds funny. You're thinking gross, mayonnaise. What that does is it gives it a beautiful crisp. Now, I don't know if you've ever taken like a grilled cheese sandwich and instead of using butter, you use mayonnaise. There's something about the eggs and the oil and mayonnaise that make it very crispy, very delicious. All right, so there you go. You can see it's not clumpy anymore. We got all of that mixed in there, delicious. We're also going to take some Parmesan cheese. Now you can use all different kinds of cheeses. Uh, you can use, you know, mozzarella or cheddar, anything like that. But I just like mozzarella, I'm sorry, I just like this one, which is, uh, it's fresh shredded Parmesan. So you drop that in there, stir it up means that it's gonna be nice and cheesy the whole way through. So this is enough to make two chaffles. So here is this, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Now, a lot of people will take and they'll spray oil. I have found you don't actually have to do that. I like to take a little bit of cheese and sprinkle it on the bottom like that. That gives it a really delicious crust as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and take half of our chaffle mix here. All right. All right, and kind of spread that out. So it covers everything. Now you know because it has egg in it, it's going to swell a little bit. If you want it very cakey, um, you can always add almond flour and you can add, um, let me turn this up here. You can add almond flour. You can also add uh, like baking powder to it. Um, I'm actually going to be making some variations of this for you. This is just one I thought, you know what? It's time for me to have lunch. It sounds good. It has protein in it and it's gonna make me feel better. So 
I have a hard time keeping up with my intake. I don't know about you guys, but I thought, okay, let's try and do something that is delicious. And also like a lot of people that have had bariatric surgeries of sorts, I like eating a sandwich or uh, like a tortilla or something like that. Um, sandwiches are easy, right? And tacos are easy, <laughs> things like that. So this can actually be modified a lot of different ways. Um, but this is a savory version and then I can show you in some of the um, adjustments that I make later how we can make a sweet version. So that'll be delicious as well. So one thing about the Dash Waffle Iron is so they have several kinds. They have some that are like little mini quesadilla makers. You can actually put this in there so it's like nice and flat. You have the waffle iron. They have a little mini panini. Um, I think I got mine at Kohl's and it was like $12 and very, very worth the investment. I've used it for a lot of things. So um, I've even taken like chocolate protein powder and made like a brownie and made it into a brownie waffle and then it was kind of like kind of like a I don't know, like a cookie kind of it was really delicious so those are some other things that we can do as we are trying to be successful in our weight loss endeavors um, it's not even just losing weight sometimes it is after you've already lost the weight maintaining that weight loss that's also very important so this has an automatic light. So I'm gonna turn it back down for you to see. So it has the light on it and it actually has turned off. But some, something I've learned is even though the light has turned off, if we can wait just a couple more minutes, you're gonna get that nice crisp on your chaffle. And that will be um, more like a piece of bread. So then if you wanted to, you could um, add you know, cheese to it or like turkey meat or an avocado or something. Something I use are these like little cheese wedges. Now this one just came from Aldi, but you know, Laughing Cow has a brand as well. But um, these are, they're 35 calories for just one square or one little, little triangle, sorry. Obviously not a square, <laughs> little triangle. Um, and very, very low fat. So not that fats are bad, we don't want you to villainize fats, but we are already getting fat in with our egg and we're already getting fat in with a little bit of our light mayonnaise. Now, I made some of these last night because I was really hungry and my recipe ended up making um, two full truffles and I could only eat one. So this is great because you take all of your ingredients, all of your calories and cut them right in half. Um, so that's kind of a good thing to remember as well. So here, let's look at our chaffle. Okay, so we're gonna open this bad boy. There we go. How pretty is that? Isn't that cute? So then, there you go. And you can see where you get that nice crust on there. So I'll go ahead and put that on my plate over here. And we're just gonna repeat exactly what we did. So put a little bit down here. Gives us that nice crust. And then here's the second half of our mix. Go ahead and dump that in here. Now one of the benefits to using a protein powder that is unflavored is you can make this sweet or savory depending on your spices or things like that. Um, but it will have more of like a bread texture. All right, and then, you know, something else you can do, you know how one side had the crisp and the other side didn't? You can always take a little bit of your cheese and push that right on the top like that, and then put this back down. All right, so we'll get that one going. So now we can spread. Um, this is good for, actually for both of them, you wouldn't even need to use two if you want a thin layer or if you want a thick layer, you can do, you know, two of them. It's 35 calories, right? So I will take a picture of these after they are all done. I'll put up our ingredients and also all of our, um, like the amount of calories and fat and protein and everything for you. So I hope you liked our little chaffle recipe and I hope you get to taste it. And I wanna hear all about your experiences and the different things you guys are using for chaffles. So we'll talk to you soon, bye.